what is a matryoshka brain? So if you know what a matryoshka doll is, it is this nested doll that you have that is uh, so uh, typical of Russia. You have a doll. If you open the doll, there's another doll inside. You open that doll, there's another third doll inside and you have dolls all the way in. So it's a nested series of dolls. That's called the matryoshka doll. So a matryoshka brain is a hypothetical science fiction structure that uh, is built on a on a on a stellar scale. So it's essentially a Dyson sphere. A Dyson sphere is a mega structure that envelops an entire star, and it's able to uh, to capture the entire energy output of a star. So that's a Dyson sphere. So a Matryoshka brain is a computer in the form of a Dyson sphere. So you have a star that is completely enveloped by this mega structure, by this, by this Dyson sphere. And the energy output of the star is utilized to do computational activity. So it is a, it is a computer that is larger than a star. Now, as you know, any computer, a laptop or a computer of any kind, it does calculations, it, need, it does computations of all kinds. It does need a power source. And it gives off heat, waste heat, as a result of all the computational activities it does. So in the case of a Matryoshka brain, the Dyson sphere that envelops the star would use the star's heat and light output as the energy source. It would do computations and it would give off waste heat. It would output that out. Now a Matryoshka brain is one Dyson sphere and there's another Dyson sphere around it, which takes all this waste heat and uses that as the energy source for more computation. It gives off more waste heat. And there's a third Dyson sphere around it that takes in this uh, emitted heat as the energy source. And there's a whole concentric series of Dyson spheres that are actually enormous computers that all use this output, this heat that is output for computational activity. So it is a series of nested Dyson spheres that act as computers. And that is the, the concept of a Matryoshka brain. So this is a hypothetical science fiction scenario. Uh, we don't know of any civilization anywhere that is capable of doing this. We have not thus far encountered any uh, non-human alien civilizations but it is clear that if an, if a civilization were to be sufficiently advanced it would be able to engineer this sort of a structure it is certainly possible it is not impossible the laws of physics don't uh, preclude this sort of a machine from being constructed but it is well beyond the capability of the human species but it is certainly possible theoretically